Hi dear friends, in this video we are going to discuss uh, visual communications, how to understand uh, visual signals given from the ground, from ATC service, from the aerodrome tower. Even uh, most aircrafts uh, equipped with radio on board. Uh, you uh, need to know how to understand those signals in case if you are flying anyway on the aircraft without radio, for example, on light aircraft, which are not uh, required to have radio on board. And in case if you have uh, radio communication failure, for example. And additionally, uh, there are some questions in theory about those uh, visual signals. So, visual signals are given by uh, ATC using the Aldis lamp, so-called, uh, which uh, gives a directional narrow beam. Uh, so that means that if you see this light from the uh, from your aircraft, you must uh, assume or understand that this signal is given only for you. Nobody else sees it. Using this Aldis lamp. The ATC service could give you the signals with different colors and uh, the meaning of those signals depends on uh, where you are. You are in the air or on the ground. So if you see steady green, that means you are clear to land if you are in the air. And if you are on the ground, you have to... Uh, you are, that means that you are clear to take off. If you see flashing green, that means that you are clear to approach airport and uh, or return for landing and keep uh, waiting for landing clearance. If you are on the ground, you are clear to taxi to the uh, holding point uh, of the runway. And again, wait for uh, takeoff clearance. If you see steady red, that means that uh, you have to give way to other aircraft and if you're on the ground, that means that you have to stop again, give way to other aircraft, uh, which is on the, for example, taking off operation or landing operation. Uh, anyway, that means that you have to give way to other aircraft. If you see flashing red, that means that aerodrome unsafe and you cannot land on this aerodrome. Or if you're on the ground, uh, you have to clear immediately the landing area or runway in use. The flashing white signal, uh, by, my, by my opinion, it's uh, kind of similar to flashing green. That means that uh, you have to, not have to, but uh, you, are, you can land on the aerodrome after receiving clearance again. And uh, if you're on the ground, you uh, have to return to the starting point of the aerodrome. Uh, in FAA, by FAA rules, this flashing white signal is not applicable. And if you see red pyrotechnics signal from the from the ground, that means that you have cancelled any previous instructions, and you you cannot land uh, at the aerodrome for the time being. So if you got the signal from the ground. If you are in the flight, you have to give the answer uh, to the ground, the answer that you understood and uh, you got the signal and understood it. So uh, this is an acknowledgement, and uh, if you are flying in the daytime with good visibility, you have to give this acknowledgement by rocking the wings. If you are flying in the darkness or in uh, bad visibility, you need to flash landing lights twice or if your your aircraft is not equipped with landing lights, you need to flash uh, navigation lights twice. If you are on the ground, for example on the taxiway or on the apron, anyway you have to acknowledge your signal in daytime or in the good visibility, you have to move the aircraft's rudder or ailerons, and uh, in the night time, you have to flash again uh, twice your landing lights in or your navigational lights. 
Additionally, to give visual signals uh, from the ground to the air, to aircrafts in the air, there is a special uh, signal square which usually place it uh, uh, near to aerodrome tower. This square should be seen, should be visible from any point in the vicinity of the aerodrome. And uh, if you don't find this uh, square, signal square on the aerodrome, that means that is, this aerodrome is not uh, intended to be used by non-radio traffic. Let's go through the set of signals you can mostly find on the aerodrome signal area. And also you can uh, find the questions in the, in the theory exam. Let's start with the uh, letter T which means that uh, the direction of uh, the landings and takeoffs should be done by the direction of this shaft of the T as indicated by this narrow okay arrow sorry and uh, the same letter but with the bold dot atop of it uh, that means that the landing and uh, takeoffs direction cannot be the same and dumbbell signal indicates that uh, aircraft movements, including takeoffs, landings, and uh, taxi maneuvering, should be done on the hard surfaces only. And the same dumbbell signal with black stripes that means that uh, landings and takeoffs should be performed on the runway, but uh, movement, taxi movement of, of the aircraft could be done on the uh, on the grass, for example, not uh, exactly on paved surfaces. If you see the same dumbbell signal with the red letter L, that means that the operation of light aircrafts are permitted. I mean, taking off and landing permitted on the runway or a special designated area. And letter L indicates this uh, special designated area for flight aircrafts for landing and takeoff operation on the aerodrome. The cross-like signal, which is placed uh, not on not on the signal area but uh, on the section of the runway, means that uh, this section uh, is not uh, uh, designated for uh, landing operations. You cannot perform touchdown on this area. You can only taxi. Uh, on the section of this runway. Letter H uh, designates the takeoff and landing area for helicopters. And uh, white double crossed signal means that uh, uh, gliders are operations in the progress. This uh, yellow and red striped signal, which is placed also on the signal area, indicates uh, the right pattern or right traffic circle on the aerodrome. The same, uh, this signal means that on, on the aerodrome is uh, uh, the left uh, circle or left traffic pattern uh, is on the operation. So this signal, uh, red box with the yellow diagonal stripe, means that uh, the maneuvering area is uh, in a poor condition so uh, if you see this signal you have to taxi very carefully and with double crossed yellow stripes uh, this signal means that a drum is uh, actually closed the landing is prohibited letter C on the yellow uh, box means that uh, the aerodrome is under the control of ATC unit. So you need to uh, report of your uh, intentions of your maneuvering on the airport or in the air in the vicinity of the aerodrome. And uh, you have to get permissions and a clearance to land, for example. This is actually not aerodrome uh, signal, but the aerodrome marking. For the aerodrome markings, we have to make, I think, additional video. But let's go through a couple of them, uh, because they are quite important. Uh, this is a holding point pattern A. 
so called. Uh, that means that um, this holding point is the closest to the run runway. Uh, during the ATC uh, operations, uh, bef before this uh, line, before this holding point, you have to wake, wait the takeoff clearance. And uh, outside of the operation hours of the ATC, this is the point where you can wait uh, the landing and takeoff traffic operating on the runway, finishing their operating on the runway. Uh, this is uh, holding point pattern B, the place uh, where you uh, wait the clearance to a taxi during the ATC operations. Uh, outside of the ATC hours, those holding point pattern B, uh, they can be ignored. These markings are used to indicate the boundary of the maneuvering areas nothing special. Wing sleeve. Every aerodrome equipped with wing sleeve which helps to understand the direction and uh, the strength of the wind from the air. There are some uh, standards of the sizes of this wing sleeve. There are two sizes by the FAA standard. One is small one with length of the 2.5 meters uh, which is uh, intended for lightweight constructions and uh, the second size is the standard one which is uh, 12 feet or 3.66 meters and uh, CA standard is uh, again uh, 3.66 meters in length and uh, 0 0.9 meters in the throw diameter here and wind speed uh, so the, this wind sock should be extended fully uh, under the wind of the strength of the 15 knots with the velocity of 15 knots which is uh, approximately is 28 kilometers per hour or 17 miles per hour and uh, the wind sock should orient itself to turn uh, down the direction of the wind with the minimum wind speed of the 3 knots or 5.6 kilometers per hour or 3.5 miles per hour and uh, looking at the wind sleeve uh, you can assess the uh, the strength of the wind uh, if you see the uh, straighten it fully and oriented horizontally wind sleeve that means that the wind speed reached 15 knots or more and uh, if you see uh, the wind sleeve position it say in 45 degrees in between uh, horizontal position and uh, no wind position say uh, that means that uh, the wind sleeve wind speed sorry is about seven knots it's a half wind and in uh, obviously in calm condition there is no wind uh, the position of the wind sleeve will be just down okay and one more pyrotechnic signal. So if you see the red and green flare pyrotechnics uh, when you uh, in the air, that means that you uh, broke into the restricted area. So uh, in this case you need to immediately uh, make 180 degrees level turn and to leave this restricted area as soon as possible. That's it. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time. Thank you.